Hello Scorpio and welcome to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So I am here to do your collective love reading, okay, for like uh, the beginning of April, all right? Um, this reading is for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Don't panic. Just click off and visit another reader on YouTube. There's plenty of great ones. If it does resonate with you and you like this video, please go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel and help it grow. And if you'd like to make a donation to the channel, there's a link to follow at the bottom of, this, of the description box. And this channel is for adults only. I always screw that part up. So Scorpio, okay. What we've got going on here, Scorpio, this in the middle, this one here, this is your mutual energy between you and your partner. This is your partner's energy so far, just overall energy, okay? But let's do your mutual energies first. Um, I feel like this is your energy here, Scorpio. Um, I feel like you're wanting some fast forward movement here. Um, moving in a different direction though for you I feel like you're just moving forward period with or without somebody I think you're moving forward um, I think you're residing in the fact that you've missed an opportunity with someone very special to you a connection that is very very special um, but you're going after your own happiness here I feel like okay because I really feel like this could have been a, a third party situation somebody has a choice to make um, they're at a crossroads to, they have a choice to make here they have to choose a path cut something out this person hasn't been communicating they're not speaking their truth and you're just like I'm outy I'm done you know done uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling with your energy, but you're going towards your happiness, things that make you happy, because this, this was starting to make you sick. Um, I think you've been waiting for this person to come and communicate their truth to you for a very long time, and it's starting to take its toll, okay? So you're like, I'm gone. I need to, I need to get out of this energy. You know what I mean? And I think it's probably going to be beneficial for your health, too, as well, if you do. Um, but your person, you know, they're thinking about a union with you. That's what I'm getting. But let's take care of your overall energy before we dig into them, okay? I, I mean, not overall energy, mutual energy, sorry. Okay, Scorpio, mutual energy at the bottom of the deck here. Um, I've got the Four of Cups, all right? That's kind of like um, missing an opportunity, feeling like you missed out on something that could have been great. You know, this was a brand new beginning here, or it could have been. It probably was, and then maybe ended kind of quickly, maybe. But... Um, it was regarding a third party situation, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think though you've you've gone within both of you. You could even be dealing with a Virgo. But um it's time to be happy now. The drum the, this person sounding that drum here. It's it's time to get out of the stagnancy and this this lull, the quiet period, whatever it is. Yeah, I think you've gotten clarity, but I think your person has gotten clarity too in their own way. This is going to freak you out too because it freaked the crap out of me. But yeah, um, I feel like you've gotten clarity. You want to speak your truth, maybe cut something out. I think they have their clarity as well. But your clarity is that you just don't want to wait anymore. You don't want to be in a third party situation anymore. Um, I feel like... Scorpio, you just want, you know, you want to take a leap of faith, have a new beginning, a leap of faith like into the unknown. You know what I mean? That's what faith is all about. I, I think you're ready. 
um, and you want to be victorious in this is what I'm feeling you want to be uh, you know you may be held in high honor already you could even be in the public eye already both of you somehow but either way I think you want a victory in this okay um yeah as far as your person their clarity this is the weird thing these two cards came out together I've never had them come out together before and I shuffled this deck like 10 times okay um, but they came out together so I'm feeling like what we have going on here is a twin flame soulmate connection perhaps to have these both of these come out together your person's clarity is with the connection they're really starting to realize the strength of this connection that you guys have and what it means and what it is I feel like they're getting downloads I feel like they're looking at the facts and figuring it all out here um, you know I feel like they have a lot of stuff that they have to heal from from the past but they're facing their future and they're actually looking at the information I feel like meanwhile they can feel your energy you're going on a whole new path into your happiness like I said okay that's what it's looking like to me chariot for, uh, forward movement okay I think you're kind of turning away from this situation and just moving forward on your own path even though it looks choppy you know it's going to lead you into the sunshine into the happiness okay um but your person has some kind of decision to make i feel like they're trapped in devil energy here you could be dealing with a capricorn I feel like this is a third party situation they're stuck with somebody else and when I say stuck I really mean stuck um, I get the sense that they've been watching you too but what they see is you walking away they're watching you walk right out of this person's life this person's walking watching you walk right out of their life and they're sitting in stagnancy refusing to release something from their past um, they want to communicate I feel like the clock is ticking here man the clock is ticking that's what I'm sensing here this person wants to send you some communication some kind of text message or something you know I feel like they want some quick movement they want to come in you know this person I feel like is really wanting to be very sexual with you number one this is a player card you could be dealing with the fire sign as well but this this person flies in super fast and then they use that wand as a male phallic in order to be intimate or they they schmooze and schmooze and, and schmooze and but they leave they leave right away I feel like I feel like they have been watching you um but this person is at a crossroads that means they're trying to choose a path okay and uh, you know this is having to make a choice and this is being stuck to something toxic they could have an addiction and that could be an addiction to anything really um I do feel like they're watching you while they're trapped in something watching you walk away yeah because they are having a hard time letting go with a divine timing card here um I feel like it's time for divine intervention is really what I'm feeling like because this person is having a very hard time letting go of something that really no longer serves them they need to release something they're not releasing something that they should maybe because they know now what this connection is all about 
This person may even feel like a complete and utter fool here because they're now realizing just who you are and what this connection means. Okay. They could be feeling very protective of everything that they've built so far, but yet at the same time, they may want to communicate. They may want to be honest and communicate their truth and lay everything out on the table and um, possibly walk away or walk to their heaven, which is the divine feminine. This is the divine. This person is like, I don't know, they built something completely inadequate here, or they may feel inadequate. They want their happiness. Yeah, this person wants their happiness too, but they're stuck and trapped. They need to walk away, I feel. Let's see where you are on all of this. What's your take on all of this, Scorpio? I feel like you really are like heading out, like now. You're out of hangman position. You're not going to be stagnant anymore. You're tired of the stagnancy. You want some fast forward movement. And this is fast. Like, yeah, I feel like you feel all of this, you know, that this is just really going nowhere. Um, you know, using your intuition. Let's see what we got for you, okay, Scorpio? Where's Scorpio on all of this? Show me, show me Scorpio's energy regarding the situation. Yeah, like I said, four of cups, four of cups. Feeling like you missed out. This was to be a brand new beginning. I feel like, I feel like you're thinking, I, I believe this was a gift from the divine. I believe this was a gift from the divine. How, how can this be? You know what I mean? I feel like you missed, you feel like you missed an opportunity here. But one that's still kind of lingering. I think you're ready to, you know, this, you can't be in a third party situation. That's what this is. One, two, three. This is a third party situation, Scorpio. And what you're saying here is, I just cannot do this. I have to miss this great opportunity at this love because this person is bound and stuck. They are not releasing. And I, so I have to. That's what you're saying. So I have to release. If they're not going to release, I have to because I can't feel like this anymore. Look, this person's rotting. Look at his leg. His face and his hands, they're fine, but his leg is rotting. So you're rotting underneath, man. You know, it's very hurtful. I feel like it's really painful for you, Scorpio. But you know, you're like, well, I have to say my last farewell. Huh, okay. And, and leave with whatever I have left here, you know, and take a leap of faith. That's kind of what I'm feeling for you. But clarify this, clarify the fool and the four of cups here, right down the middle. Right down the middle for Scorpio. Scorpio's energy. Yeah, you want to change things around, Scorpio, I feel. You have the tools necessary to do it. So, like, basically, here, you're like, dang, man, that could have been the best love ever. You know, it could have been so great. Why couldn't they see? Why can't this person see? It could be so great. I can't be in the third party anymore, man. It's, it's rotting me from the inside out. So I, I, I've got to do something to change it. And I know I can. I know I can. 
all I have to do is just say farewell and take this leap of faith, okay? That's kind of what you're saying to yourself. It, this is kind of, um, a, a w test of will almost. You know what I mean? Because it's very painful for you to walk away from this knowing how strong of a connection it is. Um, and knowing how great of a love it could be. Clarify this fool. Where is the fool going? Where are you going to go? Let's see what you're doing. Is there something new coming in for Scorpio? What new is coming in for Scorpio? Prince of Cups. Someone's coming in to tell you how they feel about you. You could be dealing with a water sign. Um, they come in fairly quickly too, it feels like. This could very well be someone new. Oh, no. This is, no, I feel like this is your person's energy coming in. Okay, so, well, what's coming to you anyway is your person, I feel. This is somebody that you have out in the cold. If this could be you or uh, your person or someone else, someone who's out in the cold, maybe even um, kind of short on pentacles here, so do, not doing so well financially maybe. I feel like they feel pretty beat up at this point um, and they're in a, in a lot of pain, having a very, very painful ending in this situation. I feel like this is your person's energy coming towards you to tell you how they feel about you now. But once again, in the Knight of Cups energy, that that Knight doesn't usually have staying power either. They come in and they love bomb you. And I don't even know if that's real love in that cup. It could be a shiny wet turd. We don't really know because it's just a Knight. You know what I mean? What else can you show me for Scorpio? Scorpio's energy, please. Scorpio, Scorpio, oop. Yeah. Okay, three of wands, yeah. I feel like this is your person creeping in, Scorpio. This is somebody who is... Once again, this I feel like this is your person. They needed to decide, make a decision between two passions and they know who it is that they want, but they're waiting for their ships to come in, yada, yada, you know? And here you are sitting all pretty as the queen of pentacles. Now, you're like, I'm not wasting my time on this. I'm not going to play my games with, any games with this anymore. No, I'm not playing any games. I'm working on my pentacle. This is a single person who has worked on, the, you know, you've worked on yourself. You've worked on your future. You've worked on your stability. You're not speaking. Uh, you guys are, we already know you guys are in stalemate, but you're just not talking about this stuff because you don't feel the need to, you know? You've learned your lessons from this, you're very intuitive, you're every queen, queen in the deck, and you're very, very abundant, you know? I think this person knows it, and that's why your person is in pain. Honestly, I think you're both you're both suffering from this to be honest with you. It's just that you're moving on and your person feels stuck. But it's to something. Yeah, you're moving on. You're moving on, Scorpio. Like you're taking control of your own future and your own destiny and your own happiness and you're like, "You know what?" If you want to come and talk to me, I'm receptive. But just know, in the future, if you do ever come and talk to me, come correct. And come with the truth. Like, you know, other than that, you're just going forward to, into your happiness. We're right back where we started. You're going forward into your happiness. Um, 
what's going to happen with your with your person here so what's going on with Scorpio's person yeah walking they want to I feel like this person is going to eventually have to release I feel like they're running out of time um, and they've been holding back from re releasing but they know what this connection means to them both of you want a new beginning here okay yeah your person is going to be being able to color their whole world however they want they're going to be realizing this because now they're going to start learning the details of this journey you know I, I think it's going to happen it's just the timing it's all about divine timing it's all about divine timing there's steps that have to be done here you're something first needs to be released they need to figure out learn some details about this connection and then they he they need to heal you know i mean this is about divine timing what else can you show me about this person for scorpio what else can you show me about Scorpio's person? What's going on? Okay, what's going on in this devil energy here? Clarify the devil for Scorpio's person. Okay, so your person keeps going down this same hallway over and over, up and down and up and down. Perhaps they've been in this weird, obsessive, addiction ridden toxic relationship and they keep going in and then back out and then in and out you know like up and down this hallway and no matter how they spin it each time it always is the same hallway and it always looks the same do you know what I mean um and it's got something to do with sex there could be a sexual addiction here You know, however, I am seeing an empty bed and I'm seeing somebody isolating themselves. This, I think, is your person contemplating, going within, separating themselves and isolating themselves from everyone else around them, okay? Kind of taking a look at people and saying, why the F am I around you still? <laughs> you know what I mean? Picking people like who's gonna who's gonna go with them in, in this journey in, in the future, you know, and, and who has to stay behind because they suck. Alright, they're figuring that out. Now, this person could be in jail or feel jailed. I feel like they feel trapped. I feel like they're pulling away. They could be kind of shutting down in the sense of they're just not excited about things anymore. You, somebody could be talking to them and they might not even be paying attention to anything that's being said that kind of thing just sort of shutting down but only because they're pulling away from this energy it's time they need to let go and the stuff that they're stuck to is toxic crap anyway they need to go down the new portal a new beginning take that leap of faith start something new a new journey here something brighter you know something better i think where they are it may be somewhat abusive this is the stake that you put on a black eye card that's what this means that means there's some kind of abuse whether it's mental physical verbal all right they're in a they're in a situation that's toxic and like this person could just be being put down by somebody to the point where they don't know how to get out you know what i mean they may be very codependent on somebody here yeah they want to turn their back they want to turn their back on a fake person that they're with. They're very guarded. 
I, I feel like this person really doesn't trust this person. I think they know they're fake. Look at how that girl is, is holding those books. She's guard, guarding herself with them. You know what I'm saying? And they feel stuck and trapped. They want to get out. They want to say goodbye out of this couple's situation. Sorry. That's just too many cards. All right, what else do we have here for Scorpio's person? Clarify the devil. What's going on with Scorpio's person? What are they attached to? And this is the thing, this is the stuff that they're not wanting to release. Like, okay. I keep getting this card too. It keeps coming up. Isolation, again. Um, this keeps coming up in, in this deck for, for your person. This is my crappy hotel bathroom card. Um, the reason why they cut off the bathtub is because somebody was murdered in it and they don't want you to see the carnage. Okay, so why they took a picture of nasty, stained, gross bathroom tile, I have no idea. But this is the kind of thing that they're living in. It's like a crime scene, okay? Do you see my point? It's, it's just horrible. And this is what they feel like. They, they're having a hard time releasing it. What else is this person bound to? Somebody, someone in the situation, the feminine in this situation is happy. They're happy that it's inadequate. They're happy. Yeah. I feel like this is a person, the person that they're with is happy kind of not doing anything. The person that, um, that your person is with is kind of happy not doing anything at all. This is being completely inadequate. The shopping mall. That's a shopping mall. See the sign? It says mall. And it's a little tiny corner hut. And just moving slow, not doing, just grazing and grazing and grazing, you know. This person's not, they're happy not doing anything. That they can't be trusted. Snakes. Okay, so this is who this person is with. Yeah, can't be trusted. Okay, then. Then why aren't they releasing for Scorpio? Why aren't they releasing this person? Clarify release in reverse. Why aren't they releasing this toxic person? Why aren't they releasing the toxic person? I keep thinking there, this is a sexual thing because I keep seeing conclusion, yeah? Why? See, releasing would bring a conclusion. They feel like they're locked up, man, I'm telling you. Conclusion. They feel like they, they really feel bound and stuck here, like locked up for some reason. What, what is, why can't they release? Why are they having a tr uh, trouble releasing Scorpio's person? Why is Scorpio's person having trouble releasing? Maybe this summer. I think they're working their way up to it. We've gotten this card before. I think they're working their way up to it. Scorpio. Spring or spring to summer. So May. Possibly May. May. The end of April. To early June maybe. In that in that time frame. The energy has been shifting. So this kind of, it's been showing in every...
every single reading I've done in the last few days. What else can you show me for this person? Why can't they release though now? Why can't they release if this is all so bad? Why? They fear abandonment. They need to heal. They need to heal. This came out in reverse and it's healing. This person needs to heal some abandonment issues. They need to heal abandonment issues. I feel like they feel so separated from everyone. That's what part of the abandonment problem, right? Is they don't they feel like there's no one out there that'll understand them maybe. Well, they need to heal so that they can find their tribe because right they have abandonment issues. So, yeah, this person just has some healing to do. Um, but they can definitely sense your connection here. They can feel it. They know it's there. They could be doing some spiritual he healing as well. I feel like totally. The, the problem is, is what I'm sensing is the divine needs to kind of intervene in this because the longer they stay in this devil energy, the more healing they actually have to do. You know, being trapped in something like this kind of energy is never good. And stalemate, it's with, you know, in poss a possible abusive situation, they're going to have to heal from all of this. And that's going to take time. Spring to summer. Where is it? In between spring and summer, okay? All right. Okay, Scorpio, I hope that helps and I hope it resonated. If it didn't resonate with you, it's just not your story. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone um, who needs that message, okay? But if it does resonate with you and you like this video, please click that like button and subscribe on, on your way out help it grow. And um, until next time, take care of you and peace out.